good morning students in the last video we have discussed about the introduction about the b trees and b plus trees and what is the b trees and what is the b plus trees and how it is different to multi level indexing all these things we have discussed in this video we will discuss about the properties of b trees usually whenever we call it as a tree we have three types of nodes one is the root node and the internal nodes and leaf nodes so the root node and leaf nodes if we exclude all other nodes we will call it as an internal node and so we have th three properties means for root node there are some properties for internal nodes there are some properties and leaf nodes they have some properties so each node in b trees they have to follow certain properties to make it as a b tree now a root node any node can have children am i right each node will have certain number of children so root node can have minimum two children and maximum of p children what is this p is p is the order of the b tree okay p is the order of the b tree then you can ask me what is the meaning of the order in of a b tree the order of a b tree is the maximum number of children a node can have in b tree is called as order of the b tree okay let me repeat again a root node can have minimum two children and maximum of p children so p is the order of the b tree okay now if you see that any node except the leaf nodes even leaf nodes will have the same structure but here we will have nodes we will discuss them so if you see that the bp1 is represents that block pointer and we have key record pointer pair okay and similarly we have block pointer 2 key record pointer 2 and block pointer 3 then what is the use of this block pointer even we have said earlier even it can be called as a block pointer or a node pointer so the block pointer is used to point to a block or a node whereas record pointer is point to a record then you can ask me what is the key and record pointer relation suppose let's take that you are searching for a value 5 the value 5 will be stored in some record is it clear so the pointer will point to the corresponding record okay so the block pointer is pointing to the block and record pointer is pointing to the record where this key value you are searching okay so we have like this structure block pointer key record point if you see that in this example we have three block pointers and we have only two key record pointer pairs so what is this block pointer will says that how many children it can have so if this is one node and it will be connected to another node this will be connected to another node this will be connected to another node because that's what we are saying that it is a block pointer it is pointing to another block like this whereas the record pointer is pointing to the record i hope you have understood so if you have n block pointers then you will have n minus 1 key record pointer pairs okay so if you have two two p children then p children means nothing but the the block pointers if you have two block pointers block pointer 1 and block pointer 2 only then you can have only one key record pointer pair so that's why if you have two children then you can have only one key so and maximum it can have p minus 1 key so this is the property of a root node okay and comes to the internal node it can have a minimum of p by 2 in a, of a seal function to p children so minimum it can have p by 2 and max it can have p children if p by 2 have children are there p by 2 minus 1 keys will be there and p minus 1 keys will be there and whereas comes to the leaf nodes the leaf nodes does not have a children so that's what the definition of a leaf node leaf node does not have any children so but they have the key record pointer pairs then you can ask me what is this block pointer consists in the leaf nodes they will have the null values when you are implementing in using a data structure you should keep them null values 
so they have p by 2 minus 1 to p minus 1 keys so the number of keys in the leaf nodes and internal nodes are same and one more important point all leaf nodes are at same depth the meaning is that the height from a root node to any leaf node should be same length if it is if it is this leaf node or this leaf node all the leaf nodes from the root they should have same height okay so i hope you have understood the properties of bee trees in the next video we will discuss about the insertion of a bee tree